This is all you need to know about acidosis. As an intern or a PGY2 or a PGY3, I think it's about time we go in deep into everything we need to know about acidosis. So much so that nobody can ever ask you a question ever again that you don't know the answer to. Okay? So, if you got a patient with acidosis, your pH is typically going to be less than 7.35. Right? Your normal pH is 7.35 to 7.45. Right? Once the pH is below 7.35, in your head, what are you going to tell yourself? It is acidosis. Right? Pretty straightforward. Acidosis. The moment you do that step, what's your next step? What do you want to look at? If the patient has got acidosis, there's two methods by which it can happen. Right? It's either respiratory or it is metabolic. That's your two global methods, right? So your next step is to look at CO2 or you want to look at the patient's bicarbonate. If your patient's CO2 is elevated, that tells you the patient's got respiratory acidosis. And your normal PCO2 is 40, right? Your normal PCO2 is 40, so if your PCO2 is elevated, 50, 60, 70, 80, you, got a con you have a story now of respiratory acidosis. Makes sense. The moment you have an elevated CO2, you tell yourself the patient's got respiratory acidosis. What is the third and the most important step?